Hey guys, welcome to the Ability 411. It's not Thursday, but I'm your Thursday host, Kumi. It's Saturday, and I apologize for being super, super late on my week video, but I've been a little bit busy, and I just didn't get a chance to. I apologize, but I'm here. Late, but I'm here. Uh, I hope you guys had a great week. This week's topic uh, comes from Professor X. And I think it's really good. I think it's a combination. Uh, it's a combination topic of uh, living in care facilities or living centers, and also keeping positive in those kinds of situations. I've never personally had to live in a care facility or an assisted living center, but I've been in the Naga hospital uh, enough to know what it's like to have to depend on strangers to. Be care of you. I know that sometimes people might feel, I guess, degraded or less because they can't do things on their own. And it's tough. It gets tough. It's not it's not ever gonna get easy. Uh, it's it's something that we have to do though with people, you know, as people with disabilities. It's, we can be so independent, but our independence, oftentimes, we rely on other people to help us. But here's the thing. People live in different situations. They come from different places. They have different abilities. They have different inabilities. And my point is, is that everybody has a disability. And everybody needs help with one thing or another in life. I don't think that it's anything to be ashamed of. I know it can be nerve wracking to feel vulnerable, and I've experienced that recently. But it's how we live. At least we can be independent through other people. To have that option of independence and live on your own, I, I think it's, it can be great, if it's, provided it's the right situation, if it's the right healthy situation where you're being taken care of well and, and things are the way that they're supposed to be. For caregivers to people of disabilities, I know that disabilities come in all shapes and sizes and sometimes people can speak for themselves and sometimes people can't. And, and things like that but I think the most important thing to keep in mind is that when you're taking care of somebody who can't take care of themselves how would you take care of yourself how do you like to take care of yourself how would you like somebody to take care of you if you were in the same situation of not being able to take care of yourself I think you should keep that in mind and it, it'll help understand more if the person can't relay the message properly of how they need things to be done or how they want things to be done. But on a whole, happiness is definitely something that you have to find on your own. You have to be happy with yourself before you can expect somebody else to be happy with you. And I know it can get rough. It can get really rough. And for lack of a better word, suck. But I think that it makes us stronger. I am a god fearing girl, and I believe that his way is the only way. And if this is the way that he wants me to be, this is the way I'm going to be. And I know that a lot of people might not agree with that, but this is my opinion. And, um,. I find happiness in knowing that I'm doing what I'm supposed to be doing, what he wants me to do with my life, and it makes me happy. And in turn, I feel like I'm blessed with such amazing caregivers every day, from family to friends. I'm super blessed, and I hope that you all are too. And, you know, if you're not in a situation that's not healthy or abusive, uh, whether it's in a care facility or someone that you know, I, 
I really think that you should reach out and tell someone. Nobody deserves to live that way. In, in any situation. So that's my take on this week's topic. But I hope that you guys are happy and that you're on your way to happiness, that you find happiness. And just remember, the attitude is everything. I think Erica said that in her in her vlog earlier this week, and I totally agree with her. Attitude is everything. I feel like you, we get what we give. So give love. And you'll get everything to me. So, have a great week, you guys. I will see you next week on Thursday, I promise. If you have any questions or you want us to speak about any specific topics, please email us at theability411 at gmail.com. Keep following us on Facebook, like our videos, and we will be here for you. Thank you so much and have a great week.